what's up YouTube so with this video I'm prepared to tell y'all about the terminology basically the medical assistant terminology that will be on your certified assistant test um I did a short where I basically told as far as for like I did like a little video just in case some people are visual learners but the same thing that's in that video is basically what I'm about to go in depth for okay so the suffix so you will have like prefixes and suffixes on the test basically it'll say like the suffix una means what Okay, so basically, uma means blood. Um, basically, like anemic or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Those type of words. Um, the prefix meaning abnormally fast, tachy, uh, tachycardia, uh, just, you know, basically just going at a fast motion. Basically, whenever you read like an EKG or anything like that, anything that says tachy, that's meaning it's moving extremely fast. Um, the prefix meaning excessive or an increase, hyper, so like hyperventilating, like, or like, you know, uh, hypertension, which is high blood pressure, you know what I'm saying, so anything with an increase, that's basically what that means. I'm so sorry, I always try to vlog whenever I'm at the train station, so this intercom always comes on, so I do apologize. Um, what is the term meaning surgical removal of the uterus? That's going to be hysterectomy. So whenever you guys um, get into uh, your terminology, you'll have certain prefixes and whatnot that'll basically tell you what the whole base word of it means. So once you kind of know what the prefix or the suffix mean, it'll kind of help you understand as far as what everything means. Um, the suffix itis means that's inflammation. So like arthritis, you know what I'm saying? Anything like that, basically that's inflammation into the point, uh, to the uh, bones and joints. Um, that's basically like something that's simple to kind of help y'all out. Uh, the abbreviation meaning prescription. That's going to be RX. So whenever you see on the test and it has the capitalized R and a lowercase x, that means prescription. The abbreviation for discontinue, that's DC. So it would be D, a slash, and then a C. Uh, it's good to know this type of stuff because whenever you work in a doctor's office, they're going to have you um, make sure that you know, you may do prior authorizations for medications or they may have you uh, count up the pills or anything like that. You have to put it in the red box or anything like that. Um, the directions will be on the prescription bo uh, the prescription uh, little bottle or whatever and it'll have directions on there. So say for instance, the doctor will be like, well, what was the directions on the prescription? And then they'll basically tell you as far as for that. Now, I do have a video where I do where um, I'm going to tell you guys to understand that prescription a little bit more. And the only reason why I know more of this is because I was working on medical assistant for pain management and basically I had to discard medications um, so say for instance if the patient was saying the gabapentin wasn't working I had to come in they had to come in have the pill bottle have the pills I had to count it up make sure it was the exact amount that they said was left over then I had to discard it inside of the red bin which is like the blood um, thing whenever you do injections or anything like that it was in there and uh, the doctor then issued them another prescription for something else stronger so that's why it's kind of good to kind of know this type of stuff um, so yeah, the abbreviation for discontinue is D slash C, which is DC. The abbreviation for gastrointestinal, that's going to be GI, so capital GI. Whenever you think about anything gastrointestinal or anything like that, I think of like GI Joe. So basically just think of anything like that. Anything that's capitalized G, period, I, period, capitalized, that's where you know it's dealing with that. The abbreviation for fracture is going to be FX, lowercase FX. All right. Sorry, I dropped the paper. All right, so this next one is going to be the abbreviation for um, your eyes. Okay, so both eyes is going to be O-U. So the abbreviation for both eyes is O-U. The abbreviation for the right eye is going to be O-D. That's the easiest one to remember. So whenever you're taking a medical assistant test and they say, what's the abbreviation for the right eye? Think of O-D, like, you know, as if somebody overdosed. So your right eye will be O-D. The abbreviation for left eye is O-S. Um, if anybody want to know as far as for what the OD and the OS mean, basically I wrote it down right here so you guys can kind of get an understanding of that. But um, medical assistants, you don't do much of working with the eye, but you do learn about it. Um, they do have positions where you can be a medical assistant, you know, if you're trying to work at like a eye spot or whatever. But at the end of the day, you know, that's just a little something. Like you may work front desk or something, but if you want to kind of do anything dealing with the eye, that's a whole different type of uh, profession that you'll be working with. I think it's like... 
uh, alma tree or something like that. It's, it's a certain type of way of saying it, but I never get it right. It's like a tongue tie. And some of my pers uh, some of my medical terminology, I still need to refresh my brain on because I haven't did medical since like two years. Um, I do plan on going back in another six months, so y'all be tuned as far as for that. But um, yeah, these are basically just the prefixes and suffix that I just want to kind of go over so you guys get a good understanding of that. I'm about to do a whole nother video where I talk about um, a little bit more understanding the prescriptions that's given out so y'all can understand the abbreviations and everything like that.